Hi everyone, welcome back to Table 37. Today I'm going to talk about one of my string collection, a very common and popular string of pearl. Here it is, my string of pearl in the hanging pot by the wall. As you can see, I'll put them uh, under pergola. And uh, this string of pearl has been with me for more than five years. Uh, I got the cutting from uh, one of my friends. And I have trimmed them many, many times. So as you can see, I trimmed them pretty well, right? Well, it is almost like the same level, except some of them choose to grow longer and faster. I started with just a few string of pearl. I think maybe about three or four strings. And I bought this big pot here and when I planted that uh, three or four strings it looks very very empty so I decided to uh, plant string of ruby as well but then by the rate they grow you can see that string of ruby here is bushier than string of pearl but they grow up well together and I think they complement each other well. And here is the top of the pot where you can see they grow very well. And maybe a little bit too overcrowded. String of pearl is easy to grow provided that you give them the right environment. The first environment that you have to take care of is that uh, they don't like direct sunlight at all. But they like bright spot, indirect sunlight. Over here, I put my string of pearl under pergola. As you can see, it gets a morning sun and a little bit of afternoon sun but they never get direct sunlight. So this is the perfect location for them. I keep my string of pearls uh, outside. I never keep them indoors because I always think that succulents grow well outside. The sunlight that they get from putting them outside is always better than if you put it indoors. Even if you put it under growing light indoors, I don't see them growing as healthy as if they grow outdoors with a proper sunlight. You will see some of them get a little bit more on the direct sunlight just like a few bits here the color change is a sign of sunburn but in this case it is not so serious so I will just leave it as it is and the rest are all right As for watering, there is a tips that I would like to share as how to water this string of pearl. They need water if you see sign of the pearl shivering up like this. or by touching the soil here to see if it is dry or wet or still damp. There is one here that is totally dry.
and another tips of a watering string of pearl is by looking at the windows if you notice each string actually has a window the slit here can you see that that is the window for them to take in sunlight for photosynthesis purpose so if it is closing up you can't see the window that means it's time to water the plant to water string of pearl but over here we can see we can still see the window the slit here so it's good to go This is the sign when they need water badly. As you see, the pearls shrivel up very badly and you can't even see the window, the slit that I mentioned. Another important thing to note is the choice of the pot. They don't need a deep and big pot because their stem is very thin and their roots is very short. By giving them a lot of uh, soil underneath, it's just uh, encouraging diseases to grow. And you don't re they don't really need that much of the soil choose the right size of the pot and make sure you don't plant them too deep inside about an inch below the brim will be good enough for them and make sure the pot comes with the drainage hole They don't need a lot of soil, but they need a good, uh, well-drained soil. I always use succulent and cactus soil. Uh, I also added some polite to make it more airy. They are not too difficult to care as long as you give them a proper environment they will thrive very well one thing that i forget to tell you is that uh, they are not frost hardy in the place where i live we hardly have any frost so that's why i always keep them outside I never plant them indoors at all. Although they are very beautiful, they are also toxic to human and uh, pets. So try to plant them somewhere far away from them, out of their reach, and don't let them eat the pole. Thank you for watching. I hope this vlog is beneficial to whoever want to have this beautiful string of pearl. And I'll see you next week. Bye.